Hi, this is Dave, Fell Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. In this one, what you've got to do is work out the height of this contour line shown by the red arrow. So what is the height above sea level of this contour line? So what do we know? How are we going to work that out? Well, the only height that's shown on the map is this spot height here of 13 metres. So that's 13 metres above sea level. So we, what we need to do is use that and work out what the value of these contour lines is going to that index contour there. So on Ordnance Survey maps, contour lines go up in intervals. And they go up in either intervals of five. So starting at zero, it'd be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. Or in tens, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, for example. Now, in low-lying or flatter areas, they're much likely to go up in five metres, and in hilly areas or mountainous areas, more likely to go up in tens. Now, because this is only 13 metres above sea level, it's safe to assume that these contours go up, in, up or down in five metre intervals. So, this one here next to the 13 is either just above 13 metres or just below 13 metres. So um, it's going to be either the 10 metre or the 15 metre interval. Now contour lines have always got a value ending in either a 0 or a 5. So this for example couldn't be the 23 metre contour line, it would either have to be the 20 metre or the 25 metre got to end in a zero or a five. So what we've got to do now is work out whether it is downhill to the arrow or uphill to the arrow. So we need to look at the um, natural features on the map. So we've got some water features here and we can see we've got water in here between these two contour lines which is the, actually the same contour line. So water is going to be running away from its source and down. We're not going to have water running along a ridge line, so this is going to be a, um, a little valley, if you like, in here, with water running down that way, down from there, down from there. So that indicates that this land here is higher with the land dropping away down to there. So if it's dropping away from 13 metres, then that would make us think that this is the 10 metre contour. So if that was the 10, dropping away to 5, dropping away to 0. Now we notice that this contour line is slightly thicker or bolder than the others, which means it's an index contour. Now that, that would mean that the contours go would um, index contours go up in 25s. So it'd have to be either a 0, a 25, a 50 or a 75. So it could be the 0 index contour. What else can we look at? Well that would it sort of mean that we're very very close to sea level there. Now this here is a wind pump now that might indicate that we would try that's being used to pump water off to drain the land um, again meaning that it's very very low lying so that might be a little clue there so let's have a look at this on Anquette mapping software so the software allows me to zoom out of this so there's our 13 remember just there. So if I zoom out, what we can see is the land draining down to the river here. So draining off this land. We go out further again. And this is actually close to Aldborough on the Suffolk coast. So very, very low lying coastal area. And that zero contour there, this area is actually low lying, the same level as sea level. So that was your answer. 
we can actually have zero contour lines indicating sea level. Sea level is measured at New Lynn in Cornwall, um, so very, very slight differences across the country. So that was your answer. It was zero metres. Things to think about were index contours and contour intervals can only possibly go up in fives or tens. So we can't have a contour line ending in anything other than a zero or a five. So I hope you got that right, found it interesting or learned something from it. Uh, thanks for watching and look out for more of these navigation challenges. Bye for now.